Happy Ash Wednesday, everybody. It is good to be with you this morning to revitalize this uh, practice of Lenten div digital devotionals that we did last year. We're doing them a little bit differently this year, not doing the Facebook Live thing, but rather just doing it straight to YouTube and then sharing the link. And of course, people are free to do whatever they'd like to do with that. Uh, today's Ash Wednesday. And so it is the beginning of Lent. And I want to talk for just a moment about Ash Wednesday because I've heard from many people over the last couple of years that Ash Wednesday feels a little bit uncomfortable to them, that it's not something that they grew up with in their tradition. Uh, and so it's a little bit of a challenge for people to feel uh, comfortable with the whole mood of the day in some ways, but also with the uh, physical act of taking on the imposition of the ashes and all that that symbolizes. So I want to talk just a moment about that uh, and then talk about what Ash Wednesday and this journey of Lent really means to me and how we might proceed together. Uh, the purpose of these digital devotionals is to give us a touch point in the middle of the week, recognizing that people are really busy uh, in their schedules, can't often make it to church in the middle of a week because of commuting and all sorts of things. And so uh, knowing that Lent is a long journey uh, and one where we often uh, wander away and lose track of ourselves, uh, this can give us a time to regather in the middle of the week and be reminded of what it is that we are trying to do during this really important time in the life of the church. Uh, so I'm going to start by reading from something that's called the Companion uh, to the Book of Common Worship, which is a Presbyterian publication. Uh, and I just want to read a couple of quick paragraphs here. The Lenten journey from the ashes of death to the resurrected life begins on the first day of Lent, Ash Wednesday, which signifies a time to turn around, to change directions, to repent. This first day of Lent reminds us that unless we are willing to die to our old selves, we cannot be raised to new life with Christ. The first step of this journey calls us to acknowledge and confront our mortality individually and corporately. In many traditions, this is symbolized through the imposition of the ashes, placing a cross upon one's forehead. During the imposition of the ashes, the words, you are dust and to dust you shall return, are often read. And those come from Genesis chapter 3, verses 9, verse 19. Uh, and we repeat them over and over again throughout this Ash Wednesday and really throughout the journey of Lent. We are to remember that we are but temporary creatures, always on the edge of death. On Ash Wednesday, we begin our Lenten trek through the desert and toward Easter. Ashes on the forehead is a sign of our humanity and reminder of our mortality. Lent is not a matter of being good, and wearing ashes is not to show off one's faith. The ashes are a reminder to us and our communities of our finite creatureliness. The ashes we wear on our Lenten journey symbolize the dust and broken debris of our lives, as well as the reality that eventually each of us will die. Trusting in the accomplished fact of Christ's resurrection, however, we listen for the word of God in the time-honored stories of the church's Lenten journey. We follow Jesus into the wilderness, resist temptation, fast, and proceed on the way to Jerusalem and the cross. Again, that came from the companion to the Book of Common Worship, which is a Presbyterian publication that we have as a reminder that this beginning of Lent, this taking on of the ashes, is a reminder of our own mortality. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. But what does that mean for our lives and for our Lenten journey? Well, to me, it's a reminder that I'm simply human that I make mistakes, that I sin, to be sure, that all of us sin, that we are in this journey together, all as sinful children of God, and yet also as a reminder that in the midst of that humanness, in the midst of that brokenness, in the midst of those ashes, from out of that amazing things arise because of the love of God and because of what Jesus Christ did for us. And so we take on the sign of the ashes as a reminder to start this journey in a posture of humility, to place ourselves before the cross, before God, before the throne, knowing exactly who we are, knowing exactly what we are, and yet hopeful that at the end of the journey that once more we stand in the shadow of the cross and we find there the grace that we need in our lives. 
Today is an important day in the liturgical calendar for the year in the Presbyterian Church. It's the day when we truly start the journey together. And you may have already chosen to give something up for Lent. A lot of people do that practice. If you've decided to do that, then stick with it and go for it all the way and, and be really holding yourself accountable to do so. But I also wanted to make a suggestion today that perhaps we don't want to lose something for Lent Perhaps we want to take something on this year. So if you haven't already decided to give something up, maybe you want to take on a new practice. Maybe it's morning prayer. Maybe it's meditation. Maybe it's reading a scripture each day. Maybe it's exercise. Maybe it's something that you can add to your daily life that will give meaning in the midst of the mundane to-do list that all of us get caught up in. To stop and to pause and to truly be in the presence of God, that we might be renewed and to understand exactly who we are and to whom we belong. I hope that you will come at some point today, either at 515 or at 745 this evening, to take on the imposition of the ashes. At 515, it'll be about a 30-minute service with the children singing and in our presence, and we'll have the ashes, of course. And then at 745, we'll just have a 15-minute liturgy in the chapel together where we can take the ashes on as well. I hope that you will begin the journey in earnest, that you will take this first step of many, many, many steps in this journey of Lent, and that you will continually return back to this place on Sunday mornings, on Wednesday through the computer, in all of the different opportunities that we have, that we might remind one another of exactly who we are, the fact that we are all together on this journey, and the fact that we are loved in spite of all that we are. God bless and happy Ash Wednesday.